this in the fucking city, in the state. You know what I'm saying? So this is amazing, bro. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, man. I just been trying to really stay consistent with it and shit, bro. That's what you got. It. That's the you know only way. It's only the only way shit happens. The only way shit happens. You gotta stay consistent. Right there. Got you. Yeah, man. I see. Actually, we've been having more like um like more shows been coming out lately. Mm. We got more people really doing that shit. And I've been really saying that even before I really started it. Like I was like, bro, we need more like people hyping up the scene type shit, which yeah, is like yeah. bloggers and because that's that's what inspires just everybody else to get hype about it. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I fully agree, bro. I fully agree. I live in that. Well, you talk about it. I live in Atlanta for um, a year and a half, like two years ago, and just the camaraderie is a. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's very important. Very important. Yeah. In in these fucking interviews, blogs, vlogs, all that. All that shit's very important to 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 up the scene. You know what I'm saying? So. And I, I was thinking too, like um. <clears throat> I was like, because I used to be like, honestly, I, I went through a point. I was like, yo, what's the point of blogs and shit, right? Mm -hmm. But then I was like, yo, there actually is, there's like, okay, like there's like a few artists that I actually fuck with, mm -hmm. but I might not even follow them on Instagram. Damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? We talk, I'm talking about like big artists. Like, okay, well, yeah, okay. I'm talking about like Big Sean. I think I follow Big Sean now. Mm -hmm. But just, it was a point where I didn't really care to follow the huge artists because mm -hmm. like their music will always like kind of find its way to me. You ain't even got to follow yeah, them. Yeah. I feel that. But so that, that in the same hand, I guess that is the reason that these blogs are important because mm -hmm. they're, they're putting, you know, they're showing, they're showcasing you to people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, my bad. I agree. Cut y'all. Let me just double check out. I feel like I didn't press record on this one. Already. No, bro, you are good. Okay. You start now. Oh yeah, yeah. We roll it. We roll it. <laughs> oh shit! All right. That, oh damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Word. Bet that. <laughs> yeah, man. So you said you said you guys uh, you lived uh, you should live in Atlanta. Yeah, other than that, I live in Atlanta. Um, twenty. 18? Yeah, went there for a year and a half, you know what I'm saying? Tested the the waters, you feel me? Uh, got out the state. I've been here for, in Virginia Beach for my entire life besides then, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get out, get some new opportunities, meet some new people, and you know one, what I'm one saying? Of those, I'm, I'm leaving Virginia. I feel like you had to leave to get on? Type shit, but, you know, went out there, realized that, you know what I'm saying, being, being a adult, you know what I'm saying, is very expensive, you feel me? And it's very expensive, especially if you don't like, you know what I'm saying, have any like family there, have any like back in there type shit. So oh, yeah. went out there, you know what I'm saying, tested the waters, met a, a lot of people, a lot of good people. And we back here now. We back here now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, home base. Oh, I love it now. Uh, I love it now for sure. Is that you think the reason you came back, like the financial? Just kind of like living yeah, on your own? The financial and I just needed some more. I don't know. I just don't think I was I wasn't ready for the move. I was like, I think 19. When I went out there, I just wasn't ready for the shit. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, I thought I was ready, but just wasn't ready for the shit. And I'm back home, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving. I think uh, coming back was one of the the best things for me. It helped me, you know, what I'm saying, get more of a foundation. You feel me? Um, I came back and I met a lot more people. You know, what I'm saying, my videographer, my team, a whole lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So me going there, me, I, I guess, quote unquote, failing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, for me, I call it failing because I, I didn't, I didn't live to what I was trying to go there for. Type you thing, like, you know what I'm saying? Failing as far as the Atlanta trip? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I'll call it failing because I just didn't live up to what I wanted. Type thing. You know what I'm saying? But I had to stop that because everything happens for a reason. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't go there. When I had this new, you know what I'm saying, this new outlook on the Virginia scene and then just also seeing other scenes, you feel me? So coming back was definitely uh, definitely a good thing for me. <laughs> definitely a good thing for me. Uh, what, are some, <laughs> what are some things you've seen out there that maybe you feel like we're missing or like we should tap into? Like, like I said, I feel like just the camaraderie. <coughs> really the camaraderie. You know what I'm saying? It feels like everybody's on the same team out there. You feel me? Everybody's on the same... I'm gonna, I want to say... All in the same accord, but definitely it just feels like the support is a lot better there than here. But Virginia, since I, me being back, I would say it's definitely taking a, taking a turn. I definitely see a lot more things. I see a lot more people doing good things. I see shit. I see podcasts like this happening. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of good things happening in the city. I'm. Uh, it's like I'm not gonna say I wasn't proud to be from here. But um real proud to be from here, bro. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a um a potluck of talent, I'm realizing. Just a lot of a lot of good things happening here. Yeah. A whole lot of good things happening here. On the um on the camaraderie too, do you think 
do you think like in cities like that, like Atlanta, for example, the reason that everybody's kind of more supportive of each other is because they have, I feel like they have more recent examples. Yeah, do you think? I feel like they have like more recent examples like of it working, mm -hmm. like of people that actually pop recently. That's, I feel like that's so like we've seen it work with them. Yeah. So like now we kind of like have a vision of like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, let me get, I gotta get, gotta get right. Do you think? Yeah. You know I mean? hold on, I gotta get right. I know we jump right into it too. Man. Yeah, 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 jump yeah. right into the shit. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Can I ask that question one more time. No, I was just saying like, do you think the reason that people are like kind of more supportive of each other is because they might have seen somebody recently like it's, they see more people they work for, mm -hmm. so it makes it seem more possible. Then they're like, okay, let's work together and do this shit. I definitely, I definitely feel like that. I definitely feel like that. Shit. I mean, if you think about it, we ain't had, we haven't had a big wave of you know what I'm saying of of like Virginia artists taking over the entertainment. Industry since the Pharrells, the Pusha T's, and all that shit. So I feel like in Virginia, like for a lot of us, it like feels so far. You know what I'm saying? That's why we feel like we have to get out the city to 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 achieve these dreams. We have to go to the places that are popping. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a huge. I'm, I mean, I think talent always wins out. You feel me? And if you talented and you doing everything, because I think motherfuckers get it fucked up. They get it fucked up. There's a there's there's like a there's a switch that has to like like turn on for you. You know what I'm saying? That you like you really dive into this shit. You you really give your all into this craft, man. This is a the craft that we're trying to be successful at, you know what I'm saying? You yourself, me myself, the people who you've had up here, it's a 1% of people. 1% of people make this shit, you know what I'm saying? And really make it uh, a reality. It's really paying the bills, you know what I'm saying? One percent of people do that shit, and if you think that like, you can make the shit happen with like a with, with like a forty percent effort, fifty percent effort, shit, an eighty percent effort, that's fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? It's just not gonna happen. It's just, it's, it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Or if you are one of those lucky few that like wing it and it does happen, you get it overnight, you'll like lose it just as quick. Type thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gotta be genuine. But I also feel like I mean the, the industry is a bunch of curveballs and a lot of like 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 you know what I'm saying a lot of masks are put up. You feel me? I feel like. A, a lot of these people who are, um, you would say, who just like like pop out of nowhere type thing, it looks like that. But I'm, yeah, but it's usually like ten years of work. Yeah, ten years of work, or niggas just been working. They've been talking to people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's 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 not always it's not always what you see. It's not always what you see. You know what I'm saying? It's not always what you see. Yeah. yeah. I like that, I like that. Mm -hmm. On that note, man, welcome to the All For A Podcast, man. It's good, man. It yeah. is a pleasure to be here, bro. Thank you for having me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This, Appreciate this my, you. This is my first, like, 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 like film interview so this is yeah. this, this, this is huge for me this is huge Hell for yeah. me I really appreciate it bro nah, I really appreciate, appreciate you it. for sliding man we appreciate you guys for um tuning in I'm sitting here with Chris Stassi man yes sir I just kind of realized I've been saying Stacy this whole time I've been saying Chris Stacy trust me bro first yeah. day first day of school was always the fucking worst always the worst bro uh Chris Stace Chris Stassi no it's Chris yeah. Stassi nigga it's oh, Chris so that's your Stassi first and last name yeah okay that's my government you know what I'm saying yeah but, Real fucking okay. genuine. Yeah, bro is a recording artist from Virginia Beats, Virginia, yes, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, all his links will be in the description. Um, yeah. If we can maybe kind of start before we kind of get into everything, mm -hmm. like, I wanted to ask you, like, what was kind of the idea behind? Um, so, like, you dropped the project. See you soon is, mm -hmm. your, is your project that's yeah. out right now. Yes, that was sir. 2021. Yeah. And I was just, I was just looking at your Spotify, and I kind of noticed, like, so. I think that project is four songs, mm -hmm. but like throughout that year before it dropped, you pretty much released like every song. I think. Yeah. As a yeah, single, yeah, yeah, except yeah. for one. And then dropped another. Dropped it with the the entire yeah. project. Yeah. So we dropped. What was, uh, what was the idea behind that? We dropped. The order was Cocoon, then Magenta Skies, Easel, and then Humble Pie with the project. Um, I really just really the thought behind that, bro. I really wanted to give each single, like their like each song, because bro, I, I I work on this I work on this music shit really hard. I really like I'm really like passionate about what the fuck I do. You know what I'm saying? What I put out, what I give the world. You feel me? And I wanted to give. Each one of those, each one of those records, just like time to shine. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to give it the space to get to people. You feel me? I didn't want to just, just, just hit people over the top with like a 12 song album because it's hard. In reality, unless you like, like a motherfucker who has like, like these, like these, like fans who are ride or die with you, it's hard for niggas to sit through uh, a 12 song EP and a, a 10 song album. You know what I'm saying? In reality. You feel me? Even, so, art, even artists I really fuck with, I might not listen to the whole album. Exactly. I might listen exactly. to so, a little three or four. Exactly. So that was the the the, the thought behind uh, See You Soon. I wanted to give every single song the opportunity to like hit a bunch of people. And then we packaged all that, all that together. 
Um, I love the sound, the the cohesive sound to me of the entire EP. Package that shit together, and then you guys see you soon. You know what I'm saying? Go get that. All streaming platforms, Spotify, fucking Cocoon. You know what I'm saying? The Cocoon, Cocoon the biggest record I got. You feel me? Just hit 300K on Spotify. You know what oh, I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely. Magenta Sky's on the way up. Ease on his way up. Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm proud of that body of work. I'm definitely proud of that body of work. And and the videos are crazy too. I gotta say, you have you have. I'll, I'll put you in the top three of most like creative videos out here. Top. Who is uh who's shooting your videos? Top one. But it, 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 I gotta like, say, South Egypt. I don't want to single anybody <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking yeah. with you. I'm, talk, I'm fucking with you. But you said what now? Like well, who's shooting your videos? My boy Sergio Lorenzana. You know what I'm saying? Go follow him on on Instagram at sml dot c i n e. Sergio, he's a amazing bro. Like I said, he's one of those people who I when I touch back down. In the city, you know what I'm saying? I, I was able to just do DMs, you know what I'm saying? Close mouths don't get fed. I loved, I forgot whose video I seen. Um, he shot a video for somebody or whatever. And I was like, God damn, bro. That shit clean. I need that, you know what I'm saying? So I just reached out to him. I thought, I honestly thought that he was like, like just out of my budget. You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to, didn't want to work with somebody who was just on the come up type thing. But like I said, close mouths don't, close mouths don't get fed. Reach out to people. Make genuine talk to people, make genuine fucking relationships with people, and then beautiful things happen. And happen. I call yeah. Sergio my brother. You feel me? So like, it's like me and him. We trying to do something special for sure. And I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna stick with bro. Even when these this all this goddamn fame, this these accolades, these accolades start coming, that's gonna be my guy. I I, I can't switch up. Can't switch up. Yeah. Can't do it. I feel like I'm on the same shit too, bro. Just like I'm just I just be trying to build relationships with people. Got to, bro. And then like even to. like reaching out, like I, I've I've been trying to learn how to ask for help more, bro. Like even today, like we just uh, me and Brian put out like a live performance video we just did. Tough. And Tough. I just hit up like everybody I know, bro. Like just ask them, mm -hmm. can you can you tag you know what I'm saying PG Lang and uh, Yasin Bay on it? Just shit like that, bro. Yeah, bro. That's you know what, what it, that's what it takes. But you can't you you can't be scared to to want to branch out and grow. I feel like I feel like that's a that that's a um. As artists, we're very like we're our biggest critic. You know what I'm saying? We think we're being annoying by asking you to 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 tag somebody. But shit, bro, you tag some, you get you get ten motherfuckers to tag somebody. Let's say two of them actually like it. That's two new fans, bro. And that's actually uh, big. That's big. You know what I'm saying? A genuine finding genuine people who fuck with you, bro, is not easy. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's not easy. So you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. You have to. You gotta grind. You gotta. Ask for help. That's I'm, I'm, funny you say that. I was literally just talking to to um, management the other day about um, just some new music or whatever, and uh, I'm usually not good with taking. I'm, I'm kind of hard headed when it comes to the music shit. You know what I'm saying? I think what I make is hard, and if you don't like it, I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? But I, I realize I have to like stop that. I have to like like entertain. You know, I have to like like entertain other ideas because that's what's just gonna help me grow type thing. You know mm, what I'm saying? Okay. So that's something something I'm learning every single day. Every single day, you gotta be mindful. You gotta be open minded. It helps you grow. Helps you be yeah. better as a person. I guess I guess it's a balance too of like. Cause at the end of the day, I guess you I mean you making the shit for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, making yeah. it because it feels good. Feels good to you, definitely. But um, I guess I never really want to get into a point to a stage where I'm like, okay, like this is the song that's gonna blow. Like let's make this type of song or like, mm -hmm. you, you know can't what I'm be saying? like that. It's gotta be genuine. Uh, you gotta be genuine. Or even like for reaching out, like I'll be fucking like I'll be reaching out to people on the show. Like I've reached out to you, mm -hmm. but it's funny. Like I like I'll end up fucking reaching Can't out to some at people. A, at my boy uh, Kai show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now just see him in person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brandon, uh. bro, at Slow Dive. Mm -hmm. I was like, Yo, you Chris? Um, I don't remember if you like remember me at the time, but set it up. You know, I remember man. the at name. I remember the at name, and then you were like, Yeah, I'm with the All Four Podcast. <laughs> all Four Podcast. Podcast. I was like, uh. Oh shit, yeah. I've been like like internally. Like just waiting on like the like just went to ask y'all for for a, when I could be uh, up here you know what I'm saying and then we just 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 uh, ass collided and here we are off world podcast you know what I'm saying off world Chris Dassey, here we are uh, all right so you know okay so coming up in Virginia Beach okay I guess we can get to it a little bit like yeah like what is like early days you know what I'm saying childhood life kind of pretty much how you got into like, you know what I'm music, saying yeah. got into it first of all you know what I'm saying Virginia Beach born and raised. Home of the legends. I'm trying to be one of those legends, you feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? Um, started out all my uncle's rap, bro. That was like, the house was always filled with music. Always filled with music, you know what I'm saying? 
all my uncles. I got like 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 four or five uncles. All them niggas rap. So my youngest uncle, his name's of uh, uh fucking a uh, Vox Pop. His rap name is Vox Pop. V O X P O P. You know what I'm saying? Tapping with my uh uncle. You feel me? He a little bit older than me, so he was um I think like like four years older than me, and I was uh probably in sixth grade at the moment. You know what I'm saying? And he's in high school, so he's coming home every single day. You know what I'm saying? Hopping on the 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 fucking on Mixcraft, Mixcraft, a cheap ass cheap ass uh mixing program. I think like fifty dollars to buy the whole program. Type yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? And Bros, record, we're recording with headset mics, recording like 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 trying to do full projects. You know what I'm saying? Thinking we got the fucking way out with these headset mics. Headset mics turned to fucking guitar hero mics. But he would rap every. He would be on this shit every single day, bro. And watching him be dedicated at it, like turn it, like turn me to it type shit. You know what I'm saying? He was. He also played football for Kempsville, I think, back in the day. It was one summer. You know what I'm saying? He went out for practice. Before he was doing two a day, so he was going from like goddamn 10 a.m. to like 6 p.m. type thing. Bro left the he left the headset, left the pro, left the program open. I was like, let me tap in. Let, let me try to write something. Let me try. I, I wrote something. Won't that great? He came back, helped me write it, and then that's really where the story started, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just the inspiration from the family. Uh, what do you think about just ha- like I feel like we all kind of have those like certain people that come into our lives mm-hmm. that might spark something in us mm-hmm. or inspire us to do something like damn right I don't know or just like an idea bro even shit like I be thinking like so many ideas that I've had just stem mm-hmm. from a conversation that I had with somebody and I literally might think about it like months later mm-hmm. of something we said in that conversation that will lead to a different idea down to a different idea yeah. and it's like yeah that just goes back to collaboration that's how the fucking world everything in this world is how it was created yeah bro it's it's that spark, what you were just talking about, that spark, you know what I'm saying? That 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 spark can cause a fucking fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? A wildfire. And I just never let up since then, bro. And I really just, re- like, I loved hearing my voice on music. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just loved it. I, I fell in love with it the first day, and then I just never looked back, bro. I'm talking about since, I've been rapping since I was 11, 12 type shit. Like, Man. really, like, writing, you know what I'm saying? Trying to put songs together. I've been doing that shit since I was, like, like 11, 12, bro. This ain't no overnight. I just started doing this shit. I've been doing this shit for a minute, so... I'm just happy things are def things are things are coming to life now. You know what I'm saying? I, I got some good things going for me. I think I'm in a a good spot creatively. And I'm trying I'm trying to take over the world, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to do some yeah. some real special things. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to just do some real. Spe- I'm trying to do some real special shit, bro. Yeah. Real special shit. Was that all about the- legacy? All about legacy. Yeah. That's my main thing. I'm trying to leave the biggest. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be one of those greats. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not taking. I'm not taking the. The back roads. I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, fucking, own Times Square. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm. I'm think. I think. Like, I try to think gigantic, bro. I'm trying to be great. I'm trying to leave a huge legacy for my people, and for the state of Virginia. I'm trying to be that next guy. I'm, I, no, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be that next guy. Uh, yeah. No, I love it. I love it. So okay. So when did you get your first your your own setup? I guess. So you you rocking with your uncle's setup. Mm-hmm. With the rock band mics, the mm-hmm. so when, when was the yeah, when did you get your for own first setup? Yeah, so my Dukes, I gotta always say thank you to her too. It was um let's say a couple like two months go by and I'm going to my grandfather's house, you know what I'm saying? Uh my uncle's down. Yeah. Um I'm going there all the fucking time, going to record, and then one day my mom hits the finesse. She put the 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 um the headset in the purse and brings it to brings it to back to our crib type thing. Oh, from Oh, wait. From my uncle. Oh, this yeah, is all yeah. at your uncle's crib. Chief, and that's my uncle's uh, headset mic. And then um, I downloaded the trial. So probably like like two, three months after after when I said I first started. Um, I downloaded the 14-day trial on a computer. Was restarting. Was factory. I was factory resetting my computer every 14 days. To get the trial. I, right? Just to yeah. keep getting the trial, bro. Every 14 days. Yeah. Um, he eventually came to get that. Came to get that. Uh, Headset mic. Then we went to the. I realized that if I, if I plug my rock band mic, my Guitar Hero mic, into my computer, oh shit, this works too. So I was trying to make this shit happen regardless. I got pictures, bro, of like me in my room at like thirteen or whatever with a Guitar Hero mic on the wall with like with like a a nail and wrapped around the shit. You know what I'm saying? With Man. 
I don't even know. I think I, I made a, I got a hanger and put some pan, a penny hoe over the hanger to make a pop filter. You know what I'm saying? So, thir- like 12, 13, 12, 13. I, I, I told myself I can't pay for studio time, so I got to learn the shit myself. I'm, I don't got no job. I'm 12, 12, 13 years old. I'm still doing football or whatever. Um, still playing football. Was realized, just realized that's just not for me. Let me attack this music shit, bro. Let me let me learn how to engineer myself so I don't got to pay $25 an hour for some studio time. You know what I'm saying? So so are you, are you still engineering all your stuff now? I engineer everything. Everything you've ever heard from me as far as it's just just any music you've heard from me, it's been engineered from me. I got I I have to be. I, I got to be the one controlling. I have to. Yeah. I'm super like picky with it. That's why I've been, been like three or four times in this entire span where, I, where I've let other people record me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really like, like picky with it. It's it's a good and a bad thing. Good and a bad thing. What about production? Are you producing too? Nah, I wish I could produce. The produ- the production shit just does not come to me for some reason. I got my... Uh, right now, a lot of my producers are um, my boy Zell Tutrell. He local out here. I'm not sure if you heard of heard of him. I've heard of him. A lot of yeah. uh, shit for, for crazy. A couple people. A couple people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Zell, my boy MB Wave, my boy um, uh, Fiend. Couple niggas are, you know what I'm saying? Couple niggas help me put the shit together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was gonna ask you too. What do you, What do you think is like? What do you think was um, from when you started making it to now? What would you think is some of the kind of the keys to like the consistency? Is it just like the love for it, or like what do you think are some of the reasons you're still doing this? Like you I, know what I'm saying? It's the love, bro. It's the love. Like I said, I love hearing my. I love. love I love pushing my limits. You know what I'm saying? Seeing what I could do musically, really like tapping into my mind and seeing what the fuck I can come up with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just that just the love for the fucking craft you know what i'm saying you, you gotta I, I just love the shit i love the shit i love the the grind i love all of it i love every single part of it you know what i'm saying i think that's what separates me do you feel me i think that, that's definitely what separates me yeah mm-hmm. you touched on uh management too i've seen it in your bio uh, major stage mm-hmm. what, what, that's like, the home team that? home yeah. team they're, you know they're, uh, they're from around here nah they're actually in new york they're a um, company in new york <laughs> They got me right, bro. They picked me up. Um, we haven't even been together a year. No, it's, it's been a year and some change now, like a year and a couple months. They picked me up uh, end of 2020, and shit's just been roses since then. They they definitely helped me elevate. They helped me like, elevate. Wait, I'm trying to say, what is it, the company like that actually, like, what do they do? Like, that, that's they're a, my management. That's a management company? Yeah, okay. that's my, they're a okay. management company. They're known up, up in the north for, like, all the shows they put on, they're big on the, the on shows in the tri-state area. Um, but they used to be tri-state area. Tri-state turned into everywhere over the U.S. So they're doing the right things for me for sure. Shout out my boy Marco. Shout out my boy Gannon. You know what I'm saying? Without them, shit, man, they helped me get. Yeah. They helped me for sure. They helped me for sure. You've been doing like shows all over and shit. I haven't. I'm. That's another thing with me too. I'm uh, with my shows. I gotta pop. I gotta uh, honestly. I gotta pop out more, bro. I gotta. I gotta do some more shows and shit like that. But again, I'm just picky with it, bro. My the, like, my brain, bro. It like I've like, I'm a Virgo. You know what I'm saying? So I'm. I'm very like. I gotta like. Like I'm very like. Like, like controlling. You know what I'm saying? Like any show that I've done recently, there've been shows that I put together. You know what I'm saying? Shows that I've. I've. I've hosted. I've been doing shows like like planning shows since I was 18. I booked. I'm not sure. If, you remember uh, Shaka's? I got kicked out of there. Before. Damn, got, for real? I got thrown out of there. Bro, yeah. <laughs> bro, Shaka's is a crazy place. Shout out Shaka's, man. Yeah, yeah. They got they got <sighs> shut down, right? Yeah, yeah, there's some shit now. It's just it's just not the same. Not, I think, no, no, no. I got I booked my first show at 17. I booked my f- a first show at 17. Had a fucking lie about my age and shit like that. Bro, I ain't asked for my ID, so I was like, shit. It is what it is. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just picky <laughs> with my shows and shit, bro. You feel me? So, any show you've seen me do has been shows that like I put together. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm actually lying. In April 9th, we actually got a show in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I got some s- more details coming soon. <laughs> yeah. More details coming soon. Um, so I guess okay, Cold Hearted is a single. Yeah, that's Cold Hearted. That's, that's the only thing you put out this year, right? So far. Yeah, only thing so far. Mm-hmm. Really? Any like backstory or any story? Shit, bro. I was trying to. Song? Yeah. So if, if you listen to the the. I see you soon, EP. Cold hearted, I would say, is a whole fucking flipping shit on his head. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the it's, it's total opposite. You know what I'm saying? See you soon. Got some love songs up there. Got some relationship shit. But cold hearted, I was like, bro, I feel like niggas need to know that I can still 
fucking spaz out. You know what I'm saying? So I was trying to drop cold hard and really hit niggas over the head with it and really like, 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 just turn shit up. You know what I'm saying? Just turn shit up. So that's the only drop from the year so far, but we got a lot coming soon. Trust me. We have so much coming soon, bro. So much coming. Yeah. I seen you had the fucking, um, what thing? It was Humble Pie, right? That, yeah. That got yeah. On, on the Apple playlist? Yeah. yeah. Um, Humble Pie got onto the Apple Music One playlist. A shout out Ebro. Ebro from um, Hot 97. He picked it up. You know what I'm saying? The, the whole Apple team. Super nice people. And they plugged the they plugged Humble Pie super in there. Nice people. You're, yeah. so, you're talking Apple? Do you know? Uh, <laughs> a little something. A little Apple. something, something. You, you know texting what I'm Apple, bro? Very cool, bro. Uh, when I got the email. When they sent, when they uh, sent an email, I said, like, at the bottom, the little, uh, what the fuck is it called? The, the, what the fuck is the, the footer. The footer on the email, it said, uh, like, Apple Music Special. I was like, what the fuck? This is crazy. Like, this, is, this is Steve from The Afterlife. Yeah, it's shit crazy, bro. Uh, shit crazy. But, like I said, good people. Shout out Apple Music. Shout out Ebro. Shout uh, out Major Stage. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Humble Pie. That's one of my favorite tracks. I mean, I was sitting on that track for like a year and a half before it came out because we just had some, we had a, had to negotiate the production deal and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is. But yeah. What are your thoughts on fucking just like streaming platforms right now, bro? Just with like, just where the money goes mm-hmm. from streams, like how much artists get, like, what do you, like, do you think the game is going to change? Slavery. In the future? It's slavery. Um, it, it's not. It doesn't, it, bro. It's crazy. It's it, it. It's just crazy how like you guys. You like I said, bro. It's a one percent of motherfuckers who make it in this fucking thing we're trying to get into, bro. So you got to really put in like like some some effort to start making some 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 money with the fucking streaming game. You know what I'm saying? What was the question? Uh, the question was what you think about it, like and um. Just stuff like I like how Kanye is kind of selling his music himself. Mm-hmm. Like stuff, I feel like kind of, I feel like in the future it'll kind of go more that route. And even like I think uh, who was it, Jay Prince? Mm-hmm. Jay Prince just dropped a video, kind of def- uh, defending Kanye mm-hmm. and um, talking about how really because the Grammys canceled him, yeah, so they banned him or whatever. They're talking about he's like, yo, we really need to once for all say like we need to come together, like all of us use our power. Mm-hmm. They're basically talking about how the industry as pretty much forever been abusing the artists mm-hmm, and it's like sure. finally time that there's power in numbers so if our artists come together they can pretty much yeah do, bro you know, that you know goes back to what i was saying it, it's fucking slave like it's a it's different slavery for sure different from <laughs> the shit that we know but it's uh, another version of slavery bro like the way that these niggas like really have a grasp on like how much you can make in this shit you know what i'm saying it's not it's not easy to to to, to make money in the fucking streaming game but I say that, but I'm also on the on this other side with like I think it's the best time for people to be artists and people to to like like want to put their art out. You know what I'm saying? I think with streaming, all the different streaming platforms and shit, they give you a lot of opportunity to to get your name out there. You know what I'm saying? Definitely Spotify. Shout out Spotify. They help a nigga out too. You know what I'm saying? So it's the best time for it. I think. I think it's the best time to tap. And on the Kanye shit, I think you got to be a special motherfucker to pull off some shit that he did with the STEM player thing. I think you got to be a special nigga to, 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 to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? But shit, the future is going to be crazy, bro. I don't the think so, though, bro. I don't think you don't so. think so? Talk to me. Let's say you got a thousand fans right now mm-hmm. that fuck with you. Mm-hmm. They're going to buy your music, bro. For sure. Before I put this album on all streaming platforms, you can get it from me the first month, like a month early mm-hmm. or something like that. I mm-hmm. think I think it's all about what people get used to, bro. Mm-hmm. And that's how really the whole world is. That's why you see like propaganda and marketing is is the biggest key to whatever you want to do. So it's all about getting people used to mm-hmm. the future that you want. And hopefully that is a positive future. Okay. Yeah. You know yeah, yeah. Okay. You put it that. I agree then. I agree then. Shit, bro. We don't know what the fuck's going to be. Netflix raised their on. prices. Everybody paying it. You know what I'm saying? Facts, like, facts, facts, like facts. I feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Uh, mm-hmm. I respect that. Man, fucking shit. Drop my own kind of stem player. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be like, I, it's crazy because <laughs> I actually had the idea to drop um not a fucking whole new device, but I wasn't like this, I thought about this like five years ago. I wanted to drop an album and just sell it on an iPod Shuffle. Or just because I like, oh, yeah, you know the idea of like collectability too, like yeah. ha- having a physical piece. I feel like that's 
that's a, like that's that's cool. Mm-hmm. Like something that somebody can hold on to for 20, 30 years, mm-hmm. like an actual. If if you got the stem player, I kind of want to get it, but I think it's a little out of my budget right now. I feel it. No, but, no, no, no. Um, it's kind of that'd be cool to hold on to that. Like you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's 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 bros. It's his version of the iPod, bro. It's it, it's his first iPod type thing. You know what I'm saying? So and if you like. There can be a bunch of different versions of that in in these next these upcoming years. You feel me? I think it's very revolutionary of him. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody else is doing that. Nobody else has their own fucking device with with you know. Nobody else does that, bro. It's definitely some revolutionary type shit. You know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna lead to a bunch of copycats. Some shits are gonna fail. Some shits are gonna be very progressive. But we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, any thoughts on like just? originality because i feel like you you have like a real unique music your original you, just on like and i feel like it's coming back now too like i feel like a lot of the new people that are pop and starting to pop mm-hmm. they're usually like a little little original now mm-hmm. which you know like back in the day you had to be original you had to yeah, um, yeah yeah just like any thoughts on that about that's a question one more time just like um the game and us getting back to being being original, original. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah i think you got to be original to be special you know what i'm saying uh, I think at one point we were entering this zone of like everybody was was sounding the same, everybody was looking the same, all that type of shit. So uh, I feel like the real lives and the fake dies. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers who 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 are really again genuine about the fucking the every single step in the process to be special. Those are the niggas who you see at the on Billboard. You, those are the, the people who we see. You know what I'm saying? People who aren't genuine to the craft. And follow the trend and aren't original. That that ship sinks. It sinks. It, it really always happens. It's always it always always fizzles out. If you don't take this shit serious, it's gonna you're gonna fizzle out. You're gonna fizzle out. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm interested too in like being like making original music. Mm-hmm. I feel like those type of people like listening to your music. I can't really tell who you're inspired by. Like mm-hmm. who's who do you like listening to? Like you know what I'm saying? Shit, man. Definitely Kanye West is my favorite artist and, you know what I'm saying, he, uh, big inspiration on the way I move, you know what I'm saying, in his music shit. Kanye, Andre Three Stacks, um, my, my, I would say my teenage years, bro, I was listening to a lot of Chance the Rapper, I listened to a lot of, my, uh, a lot, the early days on Logic, you know what I'm saying, Under Pressure Tapes, um, uh, the Young Sinatra shit. I feel like uh, everybody hate Logic now. I yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, 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 it's term, bro. It's, uh, it, it, like, I don't listen to bro too much, uh, as much as I used to. Like, under pressure, bro, when I say under pressure, that shit, I'm not gonna say it changed my life, but shit, damn near, damn near. That, like, that was one of my favorite bodies of work that year. But, shit, uh, what I say? Kanye, Andre, Chance, Hove, obviously, Wayne, um... Uh, that's just the rap side, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I have this alternative side of me also where like people like like uh Gus Dapperton. Um I like a lot. Uh who else? Um Let me check my Spotify real quick, bro. I'm I'm yeah. I'm big on the Spotify. Hold on one second. I went back to your uh on Spotify, so I went back to I think your earliest song is the Apple of My Eye, I think it's called. Whoa. Whoa. That was cool. I think that might be my one of my favorite songs. That's crazy. Yeah. I've been, I haven't heard that shit in a minute. That's damn. Yeah, it was, damn. It was I fuck with it. <laughs> yeah, bro. I would say like like Gus Dapperton. You know what I'm saying? What is that? Like, what, what genre is that? He's like 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 he's really like on some like like indie pop, indie pop like alternative type shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I listen to a lot. My if you if I show you this playlist, bro, it ranges from from rock because some country. I, I listen to a lot of things. I, I love good songwriting. Like I said, I'm an engineer, so I, like. I like how certain shit sounds, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of there's a lot of things I listen to when I listen to music, not outside of just the beat and the the lyrics. There's a lot of shit, there's a lot of shit I listen to. How it moves how the shit moves me, you know what I'm saying? Um fucking uh, there's this this dude named uh, Versace I've listened to heavy. Um V E R Z A C H E. He's mad dope. Do you think Oliver Malcolm? There's a there's a few people, bro. Of, uh, I get a I've been inspired a lot lately too. A lot of things, a lot of things that I hear now definitely inspire me and definitely take me in new directions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you think, I never even thought about this, do you think genres are a bad thing in music? Or what do you think about genres? Remember that? Remember when B.O.B. dropped that No Genre tape? Mm-hmm. It was like No Jan Ray. It was like, there's no <laughs> genre, fool. I <laughs> know Jan Ray. Do I think genres is a bad thing? I mean, I think it can be. I think it can be, like, but it also. Boxes you in? It, yeah, it definitely boxes you in because it's like um, to bring back logic. Oddly enough, he said something a while ago. He was like, for the the uh, Grammys, like, there's no, there's no way that um, a Meg The Stallion and 
a Roddy Rich and a Logic. You can't like that. Like you can't just sum that up as rap. You can't just do that as rap. There's like there's like so many subgenres of hip hop and so you know what I'm saying. It's like you just can't sum things. I think that's just what we do. We just like 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 put everything in this one category of like what rap's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? But like it's 2022 now. The shit goes in so many different directions. We've had XXX. Like, XXX is a different rapper from J. Cole. But for some reason, they'll still, like, at the Grammys, at these award shows, it'll still be best hip-hop album. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? That's just, like, that just doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, like, you got to split it up, bro. It's, it's, music is going, it's in so many different directions over the last shit decade that the genre is... Boxes you in. They do box you in. They do box you in. But I guess we got to have genres because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think, think it boxes you in though. Uh, oh, it's on hip hop. I think hip hop is just still like young too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, bro, always been like I think I said this before. Like hip hop, just lyrically, just what is said in hip hop. We don't even got to talk about the like the musicality. Mm-hmm. Just what's said. I feel like it was always like the most like truest music form uh, just because like i don't know just like i don't know maybe maybe i'm not listening to other music enough but mm-hmm. i feel like you i don't know if you're are you getting like revolutionary like lyrics and like for sure bro. Other we, shit, like you know what i'm saying raps the new like the, the new rock stars you know what i'm saying this i wouldn't this, even say this, rock, I, I say revolutionaries bro like certain certain ones you rock know what star, i think what rock stars i meant like the like we're like the ton of the same shit we're like like it like like we kick in the door i feel like a lot better now you know what i'm saying the message is gets through just a lot better now with rap music. You know what I'm saying? I think we're really like in your, with, with rap music and hip hop music is very like, I'm not going to say we don't, we make it easy for people to digest. You know what I'm saying? Rappers make it easy for people, people to like understand the message that, that you're trying to like, like, like put out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like I need to start listening to other music. So nah, bro. Just, you you, you definitely play. should. Uh, as an artist also, bro, you start listening to other shit, man. That's like, I think that's what also turned this switch on for like me to start making these humble pies, me to start making these uh, magenta skies, easel type tracks. Listen to other shit, man. You like, like. What is easel? Easel, it's the, it's the third song on my EP. No, third like, song what, on my EP. What does that mean? Like, what do you what, mean? The word easel, what is that? Oh, easel. So, it, so an easel is a, it's like the, it's the uh, stand that you put art on, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, that okay. that painters uh, draw on and shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, so I think I knew that because actually I, I I shot a video uh, for this song I called Trauma and I needed one of those mm. and I was I texted Asa trying to describe to him what I needed uh-huh. and he was like yeah I think he, he said that's an easel or something yeah shit. Yeah, 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 yeah it's an easel so yeah that's the um one of my uh, favorite tracks you know what I'm saying but yeah uh, mm-hmm. easel oh yeah man. my water got oh, shit over here. Sancha, I like it. They say that's the best water, bro. It's the this it's this and Waikiki, bro. Waikiki are my two fi- two go tos. This one does. This one or the Waikiki. This one says electric lights for taste. Yeah. So they put some in here. Whatever I like it. Whatever <laughs> whatever they yeah, my, added. Yeah, I, like I was it. actually talking to that uh, about uh, with my mom about that the other day. Like her, my, we're from Bosnia, right? Mm-hmm. So coming up from Bosnia, yeah. Where is that at, bro? Uh, it's uh, right next to Italy. Okay, literally. Damn, so I, like, I feel like I should know that. I'm fucking I can't Sicilian. Really that. I can oh, show you, shit. But, so Italy is like right here, and then there's a Adriatic Sea. Bosnia is right here. Actually. Uh, where is it? Bosnia is right. Oh, that's Africa. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Um, hold up, I'm high right now. It's all good, bro. It's right next to Italy. Word. I'm high. There it's all go. good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but nah, so she was, so my point was that they're, they're coming up like and they didn't have shit. Actually, they didn't even have toilets. When, yeah. when she was a kid, kid, like less than 10, they mm-hmm. just got it when she was like, so they didn't have running water. So they would actually get water from the earth. Like they, everybody had a well. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So there was no going to the store and getting water. And from, Type thing, yeah. from what you're telling me, it was like, it was healthier too. So I don't really know what's up with the water game these days. Damn, what is up with the water game these days? Uh, bro? What's going on? Because a lot of this shit, I mean, I don't know if you ever seen the meme, not the memes, but there's like videos where a lot of this water in stores is actually like damn near poisonous. Yeah, bro. There's like I, metal in there and shit. I've seen videos on Facebook, motherfuckers doing a little pH balance. I, I think it's pH, I don't know what the fuck it is. The little test or whatever that like you put the water in like, like turns blue as, like turns blue or some shit if it's like fucked up or, or something. I don't know. Uh, but all the water that we drinking <laughs> ain't good. For, a lot of what that we drinking is not good for you. But shit, I guess it's better than the sodas and. But is it better than sodas? 
Yeah, it's better than soda. It's definitely better than soda. It's definitely better. <laughs> I, had, I had to put the soda it's down, better than soda. I had to. Mm-hmm. So Three you're making water, music man. with your uncle. Mm-hmm. It's like, you so said, like, from, like, 11, 12. You still, did you have, like, a, were you making, like, did you have a group of friends you were doing this with at school or anything, or you are just kind of just go, coming home and doing this by yourself? Yeah, so I was, when I first started, I was definitely dolo. Um, I don't think, Honestly, bro, I just, just don't think a lot of motherfuckers are rapping then. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't think the, the the dream felt as obtainable back then than it is now. You know what I'm saying? So I was doing a dolo, and then I got into high school. Um, 11th grade, I was in this group called Guys that me and my boy uh, Brizo started. Um, that was just all the homies. I, I think that's a, a lot of my homies. My boy Doom, my boy KJ the God, Tion. I'm my boy Shell, you know what I'm saying? We 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 got God's music group together. I was doing that with them for a couple of years. Went to Atlanta. You um, God's music group. God's music group. Yeah, like G that, like that. dot O dot D dot S. That's the throwback, throwback, throwback. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah, was doing that back in the day. Went to Atlanta after I graduated, like like a year and a half after I graduated, and uh, we split. You know what I'm saying? And now. Back doing it with my family, bro. My boy Kai Infinite, my boy Grio, uh, Cardinal Records, you know what I'm saying? That's the little collective that we got right now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That boy uh, Zay Zay Blaze put me on with Kai Infinite. Mm. Uh, I, mm. I think I, I just actually just followed him on Twitter today. Uh, He's going to be a legend, bro. He's going to be a legend. He's uh, amazing. Who's, I guess right now, I guess the biggest really out of Virginia right now is what, Masego? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess you could say that, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. I would say so. Where is he from? Isn't he? Isn't he from like the seven five seven too? Nah, I no clue. No clue. Uh, I'm not met bro. Actually, I'm not even sure. He's doing big things though. He's, he's definitely putting on for the city, putting on for the the state. We need more Masegos. Yeah, shout you out Masego. Uh, God's music group. Does mm-hmm. Does God play a big role in your life? Yes, I grew up in a, a very Baptist house. You know what I'm saying? But if, um, I'd be lying to you if, if I if I said that's why we did it. You know what I'm saying? It's just just like that was when like like <laughs> Jesus. That, that was when Jesus was a thing. Like like when like all that shit was going on. Everybody wanted to be be a god. So that's when my old rap name used to be Prophet. So it's <laughs> bro, trust me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's been a journey. This shit been a journey, bro. Soul searching, you know what I'm saying? I realize that I realize just all these names. I've been through a lot of names, bro. Fucking the young kid, young prince, young prophet, prophet. I've, I've had a few, a few names. Yeah. Just realized that I, I guess, got to be me. I feel like I was putting a, up a mask when I had those names. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, fuck that, bro. Uh, Chris Dassey, that's who I am. So let me just uh, be that. I go, I go as my real name too. I always, I always thought too, like if, if like for the people that have like a different name, like mm-hmm. a stage name, does it feel weird? Like, yeah, I was thinking. Like I always thought that. Yeah. I always thought that too. I was th- like Travis Scott's name's like like Jack or something like that. I was like, how yeah. the fuck, Travis? How that how, how that come uh, together? You got cool ass name though, bro. I think it, it oh, only yeah, I think it only works if you got a cool name though. You can't uh, just be John Smith and then think that you go. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that ain't uh, going. John Doe. Who the fuck want to listen to that? Funny. Nobody wants to listen to uh, to John Smith or Robert <laughs> Jenkins. You, you can't do that. If my name was Robert, I'd probably just be Lil Robert. I feel like Lil that. Robert. Lil Robert would pop. For a couple months, you have a couple month career. <laughs> nah, bro. I feel like in in 2016, uh, you might have you might have could have popped off then when all the when everybody was a little. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you yeah. could have. I feel like that could have popped off, but not Little Robert. Please, I'm sorry if any if there's any Little Roberts listening. Change your name. It's not. It's not it. It's just not it. <laughs> oh, we- Change it. You know keep your name Robert, man. Hmm? I fuck with you. I said keep your name Robert. Nah, bro. We fuck with Roberts, bro. That's, that's not <laughs> we we fuck with Roberts. Just get a better rap name. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Lil Rob might not work. Lil damn. Yeah. Lil Rob might not work. Uh, Don't do it. <laughs> so what's up with the uh, show? You said you got a show in April in Atlanta? Yeah, show in April in Atlanta. Uh Black Hearts, um, I think is putting it together. This, oh, Chrissy? This, no, 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 no. I, th- I think another group actually called Black Heart. Oh, wow. Um and Atlanta is, is uh, putting it together. Uh, me and my boy Kai going to be on that ticket. Um, uh, Zay, she's also part of the camp, you know what I'm saying? Phenomenal singer. <laughs> going down there, going to turn some, turn some shit up, man. Turn some shit up, you know what I'm saying? Shake some hands, meet some people. Feel the vibe, you feel me? I love it. I, bro, I love Atlanta. I love the people in Atlanta. I love the the. I love that city. That's definitely second home. So Are, um, are there tickets available for that or is that just like... No, nah, it's, it's, it, nah, it's just, just some... 
if you there, you just got to be there. You, you got to be there. You got to be in Atlanta. I'll probably drop some details in a couple weeks or so, like a week or so. So, yeah. Uh, I think Chrissy was about to move to Atlanta too recently. Be mm. like, imagine if she gets there, there's like a whole other collective called Black Hearts. That'd be crazy. Like, that, that fuck, that'd be, it'd be like like disappointing, but they collab, collab. That's what Atlanta do for you. You know what I'm saying? Collab. Always the best thing. Good, you fuck with a drip, bro? I wanted to ask you that too. Fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. Fuck with a drip, man. Shout out my boy Ryan Neal on the pants. You know what I'm saying? He had to get me right. That's some local shit? He's definitely some local shit. He did some He did some um, shit for me for the last Cold Hearted video. I'm not sure if you peeped the Cold Hearted video. I had some crazy ass... It's this crazy ass fire scene at the end. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm, wearing, yeah. I'm wearing a fly ass Eagles jacket. You feel me? And I got these 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 uh, patchwork pants. Shout out my boy Ryan. He getting right. You know what I'm saying? What was the video where you were like fucking like bloody and shit? Like, that was easy. Okay, that was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was easy, y'all. That yeah. was... That's, that was a... You asked me as a work of art, but that was one of the most difficult videos to put together, bro. As you can see, I'm carrying Shorty the entire video, bro. We got <laughs> bruises, we sweaty as fuck, man. It's it, it was a that was a experience. That was an experience, real fun, super fun experience. You know what I'm saying? Are you are you coming up with these ideas? Or are you letting you letting bro take take that, care of everything? That's all. So the so most of the ideas start with me. You know what I'm saying? I usually uh, fill out shit in my notes. I just like. It, if I'm feeling it, just write out the whole idea. You know what I'm saying? Sit down, get everything written out, and then I bring it to bro. I'm like, yo, I got this crazy ass idea. And you say his name is Sergio? Sergio Lorenzana. Sergio Lorenzana. Telly Award winner. Fucking, my boy got them accolades. You know what I'm saying? He got them. So, yeah. Alcalades. What'd I say? We've been, we've been talking about water. Alkalades. Alkalades. <laughs> oh, fuck. Accolades. My boy got the accolades, bro. He got the alkaline too. Hit him up. <laughs> Yeah, so I get the idea down, you know what I'm saying? Then I ship it over to him. We yeah. see what the fuck we can do, and we make it come to life. Most of the time, the shit comes to... That's the the best thing. That's why our relationship works so good, I feel like, because he's he's thinking he's thinking the shit before... Um, like, he'll, like, finish sentences for me type shit. He'll finish, like, like finish, like, putting together ideas for me because we just yeah. work like this, you know what I'm saying? I feel like when you get those people on your team... You gotta go. You gotta go hard together. So that's what we've been doing, type shit. Uh, feeding off each other's energy mm -hmm. and shit. Got too. to. Yeah, I'd be really getting inspired by people, bro. A lot of times, even like, that's why I really appreciate when somebody fucks with me because I know how I feel. Like when mm -hmm. I fuck with somebody, like it just it just gives you the energy, bro. I feel that. Like, yeah, to keep going yeah, yeah. Shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I should definitely fuck with you, bro. I fuck with what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's an amazing thing, bro. It's an amazing thing. Amazing thing. Yeah, man. Boy got the fur on right now you for those listening. It, you you ain't gonna be able to wear it after too much longer, man. See I feel yeah, like, I got, I feel I like this summer is about to be left. crazy, bro. I feel like this is about to be like my probably our hottest summer. <sighs> don't say that, bro. Yeah, I, don't, I don't. I don't want. I don't, like, heat. I don't like, like heat. I don't like heat, bro. I don't like it. I don't like sweating. Yeah. I got a fat ass forehead, so like, like <laughs> when the sun's out, it uh, smacks this shit, bro, and this shit bussing. And I hate. I hate that. I'm not like I grew up in Virginia Beach, bro, but I'm not no beach kid. You know what I'm saying? I hate going to the beach, bro. I hate it so much. You ain't because, going to the beach like that? Nah. Yeah. Not for real. I, I'm We're not a beach guy. I'm a, I, yeah. I like the ocean front. You feel me? I, I'm an I'm ocean front you know, I was always You know, that's actually there. the biggest... Uh, I think we actually have the Guinness World Record for um, the longest strip uh, longest strip of public beach, either in America or in the world, yeah. is Virginia Beach. That's... Yeah. Virginia that's Beach used to be the spot, bro. Nah, I've seen Back pictures. Back in the day, it was really like... I've seen pictures. I've seen shit. Fucking, they used to, the strip used to be lit, bro. They used to have motherfuckers, like, all the dope boys would come down here and shit like that, get VA popping. VA used to be the spot they, they, back they in the say, day, bro, in the 90s. VA Beach was like uh, Miami before Miami. Shit. You know what I'm we gotta get it back popping, bro. I'm trying to get this shit jumping. I don't know if they, if they don't bring something in the water back, it's not ever going to get popping. Yeah, like that yeah. Again. That's we the most. That up. We well, fucked no, that up, bro. No, there's, they, they used to have this, uh, what's that other festival called? It's like a country music festival. They be having a lot of people for that too, but something in the water. I, I, were you there? Something nah, I was in Atlanta, bro. That bro. was the, that was I, I was hurt, bro. That hurt. was you know what's crazy though about something in the water, dog. Like I don't know if you remember, but like the weeks and months leading up to that, everybody was hating on it because they were like, "Yo, I'm not going to that shit. It's gonna probably be fights." Yeah, it's gonna be they problems. were hating on it, but bro, there was literally not one mm -hmm. uh, altercation, not was, one reported incident. It was a beautiful moment, bro, it was, and it's so like disappointing that. Virginia dropped the ball on it, you know what I'm saying? Because it was such a beautiful moment. Like how you said, motherfuckers were, were already downing it. The second second we heard about it, oh no, nah, bro, it's not gonna work. A uh, festival on the beach? Come on, bro, it ain't gonna work. It happened. Pharrell made it happen, and then 
He put it literally, bro. It felt like because, like I said, I was in Atlanta when this shit um, happened. So I'm wa- I'm I'm watching something in the water on Instagram story. That's 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 me watch. I'm watching it up there, bro, the whole time. And I'm like, oh my god, bro, this is happening in my hometown, right? Like Virginia, this is happening in Virginia Beach right now. Was, we were trending. You know what I'm saying? It was like it was a big moment for the fucking city, bro. And for me too, Virginia bro, the PD. Part is- we dropped the ball on it, bro. It's very dis- it's actually yeah. pretty disappointing, but you know. Oh, th- did they make a final decision? Are they moving it somewhere else? Is that what they said? You I see rumors. That? They're talking about that shit going to DC. Okay. But Twitter be lying. Uh, <laughs> so another, another thing I really loved about it too, bro, because I've been to like a few different like concerts and places where there's like a large group of people, mm-hmm. and that was literally the like first time that I was in a huge group of people, and I just felt comfortable. Mm. Like it was literally just love, bro. It's home, bro. Like, it, it was, if, everybody was so like proud of that shit. That's that's how that's yeah. like I said, bro. I, we, we need just, that, we need it back, man. We need it back, bro. We need it back. We need it back. And then, like you said, that was a great point. Like we were talking about, um. Why every time we want to start something around here, everybody assumes it's not gonna work? It's like no faith. It's like no faith in us. It's like yeah, we need to have more pride in our state, man. I think so. I think that's where it starts. You know what I'm saying? And not to harp on it, bro, but it was like fuck, bro. When something was coming together for us, it was like you know what I'm saying. Like we had had the thing. We had like 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 so many eyes on this fucking place. Like I said, I feel like that, bro, could have like 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 snowballed effect and like so much. It like so much, it's just so much more eyes on the area. Virginia Beach, I never heard about that. What they got going on? Who's from Virginia Beach? What is you know what I'm saying? This could have like led to so much more. That boy brought Sunday service out here. I remember actually, I remember it was the uh, you brought Sunday service out here. Am I tripping? No, no, yeah, Sunday service the last day. Sunday service was out here. Hell no, nah. it was, bro. It was for something. Hell no, nah. I would, yeah. I, hell no, nah. I gotta double check, but I'm pretty that, sure. Bro. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I went to that shit. Yeah. You would know if you went to a Sunday service. Bro, I did. I did. I <laughs> went there. Why? It was there. I'm high <laughs> right now. Nice, bro. bro. You're cat. You high as hell. Bro, you are cat. Right Hold up. Show me. Let me look it up right now. Only time Kanye West been in what Virginia was Sunday for Pusha T's wedding. Oh, no, he definitely went to something. Uh, something in the water. Kanye? Yeah. Was- Hold up. Because, no, I remember because we was it was a long-ass line for the food. The food. The concession stands was right by a Sunday service. So we was waiting in line the whole time <laughs> watching bro, the Bro, I'm, I'm waiting on pictures. I'm waiting. Wait, hold up. Hell no. Oh wait, my bad. I'm lying. It wasn't. It wasn't called Sunday service, but they were there. They said it, they they just called it church. But but Kanye was there with the choir. With wait, were you at something in the water? Oh yeah, he was there, bro. Nah, he was there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was there. bro. He wasn't there, man. He wasn't. He there. was, bro. Cause you about to hurt. You really about to hurt my feelings. Bro. Cause I'm already. I'm already mad. I missed something in the water off rip. I miss Hove. I missed. Matter of fact, here's, here it is right here. Just look at the headline. Come on. Something in the waters pop up church pop up church felt different than Kanye's Sunday service. What you read that on? That's on GQ. GQ. Let me peep, bro. Let me, let peep me, that. Peep that. Let me peep, bro. Yo, shout out to you, Kanye, for coming through, man. <laughs> Something in the waters. Pop he was there, bro. He was there. He was waiting in line. I think I had got me like a little. This isn't. That's not saying anything about it. The service. No, no, it, no, it was the it was the event, event, but it just wasn't a Sunday service event. But it was like oh, similar. Okay. It was Kanye and his choir and everybody, but just they didn't Stop call saying it Sunday that. service. Kanye and the choir, it bro. Was. Yeah, it was, bro. Bro, it wasn't. I was like, was Kanye not there? Am I tripping? Bro, I've been fucking up this episode. I, I didn't know where Bosnia was. I'm pointing <laughs> to Africa and shit. Yo, nah, I bro. I, I would know that, bro. Trust me. I would. I don't think. I don't think it was. I don't think he came here. I don't think he came here. No, nah, that's crazy. That boy was there. Man. Hope I missed that too. Mm. I don't know. We're gonna we have to go back to that. We're gonna have to go back to that. <laughs> we need a fact check. But yeah, man, they brought like hella money to the city. Mm-hmm. We need it back. We need it back. <coughs> Shit, bro. I might have to bring it back in a couple years. Yeah, do that. I have man. to, bro. I might have to be, you know what I'm saying? Can I come up with a different name though? Yeah. Is there is there anything else we could talk about as far as like uh shit you got coming on and you got the show coming up? Yeah, bro. Um, uh, I got a lot of shit coming up, man. You know what I'm saying? I got some 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 big opportunities coming up for me. Some uh good placement uh stuff happening. You know what I'm saying? Some TV stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm, TV I'm keep, stuff. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that right there. Okay, though. Okay, you feel okay. me? There's some good some good shit's happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> EP on the way. Like I said, um, I've been in I um I've been experimenting, bro, with a whole bunch of whole bunch of New sounds, like I said, pushing myself. I, I, um, I will never be. I, won't, I will 
Chris Stassi will never be complacent. I will never be in one spot. I will never stay the same. I will never keep doing one thing. It's never going to happen. Never going to fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, bro, I got I got a lot of shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably got a single, for, single coming in a couple, I'll say about a month and a half. About a month and a half. Does you know the EP have a, you dropped the name yet for it? Hmm? Did you drop the name for the uh, EP yet? For the EP, I got a name. I mean, you know, so you could say it. Like, Should I drop it up here, gotta, bro? You ain't got to say it. But Should I drop it up here, bro? It. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't Don't do, do it. it. Nah, fuck it, man. It. Is it safe here? Is it safe here, bro? It's the next EP coming, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking summertime. We shall see what happens because, um, like I said, I'm a Virgo. So uh, I be taking ideas in different directions and shit like that all the fucking time. I'm, I'm, I change my mind a lot. But I feel like it's always for the best. It's all it's always for the best. But is it safe here? Project coming real soon to to, to all streaming platforms very soon, bro. Chris Dassey. I don't want to ask too much about it. Is it gonna be a longer length project or are you sticking with the I can't tell you. Okay. okay. I can I gotta keep that under wraps. Okay. I gotta I okay. gotta keep that under wraps. Okay. But shit, bro. It's it's gonna be special, man. I can shit. If you got some time after the shit, bro, I wanna play some. If right. I could play some some new shit for you, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, bro. I think I'm on a, a whole new wave. Like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to be special. I'm all about legacy. Like I said, like I'm gonna keep pushing that legacy. I'm trying to leave a great legacy. I'm trying to leave some. I'm trying to be remembered forever, forever, ever. Yeah. It's crazy ever. too how a lot of people that we like th- that were alive a long time, like a lot of like what like great writers and mm-hmm. artists stuff mm-hmm. that didn't even get. Um, I feel like the ones that are stick around longest they didn't even, they weren't even popping when they were alive. Like so many great people mm. in history aren't even really discovered or famous to the to the after their death. It's so unfortunate. I mean, it's really unfortunate, bro. That's what that that's like. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. But that it's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yeah. That's something I wanted to say, but I was like, let me not get canceled this early. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This early in my career. But it's all good. It's all good. Hey, bro, let me ask you a question. What's good? Your top five out here right now. Only local artists? Only local artists. <laughs> Who you fucking with, bro? Mm, nobody asked me that yet. Talk to me. Nobody asked me that. I'm happy to be the first. All right. Talk to I'm going to say off top, I'm going to say Alondo Jackson. Okay. Okay. Always snapping. And I'm going to say... Mm. We going we going with Scoozy. Scoozy. Okay. We going with Only I've tapped into bro yet. We going uh with Boris. Boris, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Boris the loser. Um that's three. We going with Shout out Boris. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool peoples. Ah. Shout out my boy. We going we going with hmm, two more, two more. Who I think really is Oh, Young Raj. Okay. Young yeah, Raj yeah, hard yeah. as shit. That's four. Um damn, who's number five? Who's number five? I don't want to say you just because you're right here. I can't. That would be a given if I said you right here. Um, I should have started that way. I'm not including you. Um, damn, who's number five? Hold up, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Number five gotta be. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not, I'm not thinking of it right now. I mean, I'm not, let me come back to number five. Who's your top five? Not including yourself. Come on, not bro. A, that's a given though. That's a given. Chris Dassey, Chris, Chris Dassey, 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 Chris Dassey, Dassey, Chris Dassey. Dassey. Nah, no, John. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my top five right now, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna go with uh, cause I just want to go off like cloud or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm going off. Of, Those are people I who, think are the most talented. Most talented. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna also also do the same thing. I'm gonna go with top five people who I I personally listen to and I really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? First off, Kai Infinite. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy. Shout out the home team. You feel me? Um, Zay again, home team. You feel me? Uh, Shaolin. I definitely love what 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 uh, Shao's doing. You know what I'm saying? I just got hit to her recently, yeah. bro. Fire. She, she fire. had a uh, she be with, she had a song with Full Metal, I think, recently. Right? Mm, that shit is yeah. crazy, bro. She's that was some that was a different vibe than what we used to he- hear in Shao. And it's definitely cool seeing her. You know what I'm saying? Branch out a little bit more and do and tap into different sounds. Also, you know what I'm saying? That that's some that's a uh, her being being also early in what in what she got going on. That's a great you know what I'm saying thing to see that she's willing to do shit like that. You feel me? But shit. Kai, Zay, Shaolin. Let me think. Let me think, bro. Before I fuck this up and make somebody mad. Um, shit. I'm gonna go with Boris because I fuck with his vibe. You know what I'm saying? And again, he cool peoples and he's doing doing what he got to do. Um, 
Fuck, bro. Five. That's so many. That's so many. I, I'm, I'm thinking. I have somebody that's like right on my brain. Who else is like super talented? Oh yeah, Khalif Hart. Khalif Hart. Yeah, Khalif that's my boy too. He cool people. You know what I'm saying too. He's he's fire. He's fire as fuck. Fire as fuck. Fire as fuck. He got a lot of stuff. A lot of good stuff coming. You think he looked like Baby Keem? <laughs> Fuck yeah, that nigga look like Baby Keem, bro. That's crazy. I never realized that until you just said it, but he definitely looked like Baby Keem. Khalif, he said it, I didn't. I'm just agreeing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, fifth, bro. Shit. Um, do I got to do rap? Kind of like like yeah, branch out? Anything, yeah, anything, yeah. If you ever tapped into this dude named Matt Mason, bro, he's a he's like a he a singer. He's a, uh, I'm not sure where he's from. I want to say he's from, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not even going to. Try to guess, but Matt Mason, bro. M-A-T-T-M-A-E-S-O-N. Mad dope. I, I came up on him. One of his homeboys. I used to work at uh, Cheesecake Factory back in the day. Um, and one of his homeboys uh, put me onto him. Mad dope, bro. Songwriting is out of this world. Out of this world. So, shit. Who was that? Kai, Nazi. Shit. Kai, Zay. I'm sorry. Um, Boris, Shao, and Matt Mason. I think that's a cool... I'm fucking with that top five. I'll stand by that. But if I had to make my own yeah, top yeah. five, like I was saying, Chris Dassey, Chris Dassey, Chris Dassey. You know that one dude? Um, Chris Dassey? Chris Dassey. <laughs> and ah, I got one more. Fuck. Oh, oh Chris Dassey. Yeah. Oh, I know who I'm getting my face spot to. Who? AJ Question Mark. AJ Question Mark? You know who that is? I, I don't think I've... Nah. I'm going to get you after. I'm going to play some Give me hip, bro. Give yeah. me hip to... to uh, you, you name three dudes. I, I'm not... Uh, Alondo Jackson. I know a lot of that is. Scoozy. Yeah. You don't know Scoozy? I, I don't know Scoozy. Get up to Scoozy. Yeah, he hard. Come he on. Hard. He mm -hmm. hard as shit. He, got, he rap crazy. He plays saxophone too. Like, oh, shit. In my opinion, the best performers that I've seen out here is Scoozy. Um, D locked. You know, D locked. D locked. He hard as shit. So he more on like the, he make like kind of like more turn up, turn up music. Okay. But he's a crazy performer. I'm talking about. I mean, shout yeah, out D lock. Some real rock crazy. Shit. Yeah. You got to respect the, the motherfuckers who can, who can turn up for a live show. Shit. Yeah. You ever been to a Chris Sassy show? Haven't been. Hey, I need bro. to come. I need hey, to come. Bro. I may even come to Atlanta. We gonna see what I'm doing. Shit, I man. Be there. You know what I'm saying? I got some, some. I got some big. Th I'm trying to do some big things this summer. You know what I'm saying? I, I got this thing where I told myself I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to sell the Norva, bro. I don't know what I fuck. What the fuck I gotta do to do that? But I'm. I'm I want the Norva, bro. I want. I want the Norva. You got a show at the Norva. I'm coming. You, bro. You got one ticket sold. I, I got count, count one ticket fuck, sold. Fuck, <laughs> fuck the ticket sold, bro. Yeah. You free coming in. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? That's love, that's love. It, it's all love. It's yeah. all love. I'm trying to get the Norva, bro. We gonna make it happen though. Yeah. Definitely gonna make it happen. Hell yeah. <gasps> what the fuck? I mean, yeah. <gasps> I put two in mine. I don't know if I you fuck with them. I fuck, I fuck, I fuck with all of them. I know you had yeah. one. Come on, bro. That's fucked up, right? You got you. Got to put one in there. All right, well, you, you gotta take one out. You have to. You gotta put a girl. You gotta put a girl in there, bro. You gotta put a a strong, independent. I mean, awkward, grinding female. All, in I mean, there. Jazz and Lex got it locked right now. If you ask me, Jazz. awkward Jazz and uh, Lex Lucent. Lex Lucent. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm not. Put me on a her too. Put me. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying yeah, to. She are, she are, I'm trying yeah. to get put on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. so who you? But you, who you taking out? Who you putting in though? Man, that was taking a, nobody out, man. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we rocking like that. We rocking like that. We had. I respect six. it. Yeah, I respect yeah, it. I respect it. it. Like you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey. I, love it. I love it. I love it. Um, that that might be a fire spot. Leave it, man, bro. We about an hour in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you wanna do you wanna lead the people or anything else? Hey, man. Like I said, this summer, bro, we got a lot of big things coming. Legacy. Legacy, bro. Y'all gonna remember my fucking name, Chris Stassi. Chris Stassi. Don't get the last name wrong. I'm telling y'all right now. Chris Stassi. S T A S S E. You feel me? Cardinal Records, Major Stage, man. We coming. I'm coming for. I'm, I'm coming for the whole fucking Duffy. Give me all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm a. I'm. I'm the next guy out of here. I'm the. I'm him. You feel me? My work speaks for itself. Go tap in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy for, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy for giving me my first motherfucking interview, bro. This is so lit. This Love is it. crazy. This yeah. is cool. I got to say, I appreciate that cool too, bro. For me, all bro. the artists that come on here, like I do a lot of people's first interviews. So mm -hmm. I, I got to say, like, I appreciate you and all y'all motherfuckers for like allowing me to be a part of y'all's journey hey, and bro. shit. Like, you know we, we need y'all, bro. We need you. You know what I'm saying? We need you to push the culture. Like I said, this is this is the 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 camaraderie that we have to have to make Virginia 
what the fuck everybody wants Virginia to be. We are. Uh, why the fuck Virginia? You know what I'm saying? It's because of, it's because of that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers got to work together. Got to put shit. Put egos to the side, bro, and make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I kind of got an ego a little bit too, but I'm down to work. You know what I'm saying? I'm down to, to collaborate and put the, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uplift. If we uplift the city, bro, everybody wins. There's enough food. There's enough food at the table. There's enough pieces of pizza. You know what I'm saying? We got a, we got one of those big ass new one of those big ass New York slice. You know what I'm saying? Those big ass New York. We can say big ass Norfolk. You been to that? What's that spot in Norfolk? They got literally the, the slice of pizza is like this big. Oh shit! Like, no, shout out Bella's Pizza out Salem in Virginia Beach. They also got got like a fucking fifty inch joint, some crazy shit oh, like crazy. that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like yeah, I said, I, bro, I agree. I agree. Yeah. There's enough. There's enough slices. Like like I said, this is the best time to want to be creative, wanting to get into the music shit because. With these DSPs and these Spotify's, everybody can win, bro. Everybody can win. Yeah. Everybody win. Everybody can win. It's just, oh, yeah. is you gonna, <laughs> you gonna work for it, bro? You gonna work for it, bro? One percent of people are making this shit, bro. You, you gonna work put for it? Work, man. Putting the work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we, me and bro, we working. You feel me? We working. <laughs> Uh, you feel me? Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. I appreciate you for sliding, bro. Yes, sir, bro. Um, appreciate it. Far ass drive, but bro, it was yeah, worth it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's my first time on this side. I think it's definitely my first Ever time. Ever being side. the Newport News? Shit. Wow, that's a little blasphemous. How? Damn, they don't fuck with us in the beach. Like, that's not, not true. going to the news. That's not true. That's crazy. That's not true. Y'all just don't y'all don't invite me anywhere, bro. Y'all don't y'all don't want to invite y'all don't fuck with us. That's a, y'all don't fuck with us. Y'all think we too, whatever. Y'all don't want to invite us on this side. It's cool or whatever, bro, you know we, what I'm saying? We just be chilling in the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, all the bros' links are in the description. Stream his music. Um if you're Love in Atlanta, me. he has a show coming up in April. April Tap 9th. in with him on Instagram for more information. Um yeah, bro. Thank you, man. Hey, bro, like I always say, you. fuck with the artists from the 757, man. And um, yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Peace. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all.